This is question 23 from the 2008 non-calculator paper. Here I'm asked to rationalise the denominator of 1 over root 3. Now this is fairly straightforward. What rationalise the denominator means, it just means to make the number on the bottom of my fraction um, a whole number or a non surd so a number that's not been square rooted. So the way that in which I'm going to do this is I'm just going to multiply both the top and the bottom by root 3. In doing this what happens is I get 1 multiplied by root 3 so that leaves me with root 3 and then what I can then say is that root 3 multiplied by root 3 is going to give me root 9 and then I could say that well the square root of 9 is just going to be 3 so my final answer here would be root 3 over the square root of 9 which is just 3. Part B. Part B asks me to expand 2 plus root 3 um, in brackets and then 1 plus root 3 in brackets. Give your answer in the form a plus b root 3 where a and b are integers. Remember integers just means whole numbers. So I'm going to use a little trick here. I'm going to start off by saying that I'm just going to call my two thirds here, my two root 3's, I'm just going to call them x. So I'm going to say that x is equal to root 3. This just makes it a little bit easier for me to do this expansion. So I can say that I've got 2 plus x, 1 plus x, and then I can just expand these like I would normally. I like to set it up into a little grid, but if you use a different method that's totally fine. So put it into a grid, and then I've got 2 and plus x, and then I've got 1 and plus x. So what that means is that I've got 2 multiplied by 1, it's going to give me 2. Then I've got plus x multiplied by 1, that's just going to give me plus x. Then I've got um, 2x plus 2x, and then plus x squared. So if I write all of this out, I get 2. Combine these two bits here together, plus 2x plus x, that gives me 3x plus 3x plus x squared. Okay, so that's just made it, my expansion slightly easier. Now what I'm going to then do is I'm going to substitute, I'm going to rename this x and I'm going to put it back to what it was originally, root 3. So what I end up with, I've got 2 plus 3 root 3 plus root 3 squared. Now if I square a square root, that undoes the square rooting. So what I end up with is 2 plus 3 root 3 plus, and squaring a square root undoes the square rooting, so plus 3. So simplifying this, I've got 2 plus 3, that gives me 5, plus 3 root 3, and that would be my final answer. So where my, I could also say if I wanted to that A is equal to 5 and that B is 3. Just saying that that 5 there represents my A and then how many root 3's I've got, I've got 3 of those so that represents my B.